And as we continue to track the tail end of some of these showers, again, kind of adding up some of these rainfall reports, a little bit more impressive than what maybe the radar was indicating. We picked up over an inch of rainfall out at Columbia Regional Airport. We're pretty close to that down in Jefferson City here, at least over the last 24 hours, but still not quite done yet with some of these lingering showers as we get into the later morning hours. Ladies run a feature track again, bringing some of that all the way through the area, kind of continuing to rotate some of that off toward the east here as that system slowly but surely churns off that direction. I think on the other side of about midday or so, we can finally say goodbye to some of the meaningful rainfall here across the area. Unfortunately, the cloud cover looks like it's going to be locked in place as we get into this afternoon, but that's on its way out as we get into the overnight hours. And by tomorrow morning, again on our Thanksgiving, looks like it's sliding in just in time here for that holiday. Some of that sunshine is for our Wednesday, though, like I mentioned, locked into the cloud cover. But as we get on the other side of about midday, I think we're OK with putting that umbrella down. Finally, temperatures though going to be cooling off into the middle 40s by six o'clock. Those winds going to be picking up a little bit out of the west later on today and Temperatures again going to be a little bit warmer this morning than they are later this afternoon. Tomorrow, though, we're going to warm up all the way into the afternoon, getting back into those mid to upper 50s for our Thanksgiving. So it's going to be a spectacular day to maybe take that Thanksgiving feast outdoors here as we get into tomorrow. By Saturday, we still have some of that sunshine sticking around with those partly cloudy skies. Sunday is where things start to get interesting. So we're going to be tracking a bit of a tricky system across, mid, across the Midwest, and that brings it into mid-Missouri itself, or it could bring it. Here's a look at that big picture, and this is that system we're tracking right now. That's going to run off toward the east. What we're going to be watching going forward, though, as we get closer toward this weekend, is this area of low pressure starting to get cut off from those upper-level winds. You can see kind of the jet stream rolling well up to its north. It kind of loses that system back around the Four Corners region. And then after that, once it loses that, there's a lot of uncertainty as to where it's going to kind of wobble over the next couple of days, but it looks like it's going to try to get picked up by another disturbance that's going to rotate on through. You see that dip right there in the upper Midwest. That'll try to meet up with that kind of lost wayward low pressure system as we get into uh, the tail end of this weekend and how those two interact. That's where a lot of the questions are here, and it looks like this latest run of future track kind of explodes that low pressure system as those two interact. So that's what we're going to be watching for. If it does that a little closer to us, it could be meaning not only some even colder temperatures, although we're getting back into the 30s, it looks like by Monday, it could interact with some of this moisture that we're going to have to watch for as we get throughout the day on Sunday. As of right now and kind of where we think that low pressure is going to end up, it doesn't look like they're going to be dealing with some uh, great rain chances here on the tail end of this weekend, but it's something I want you to watch for here. As we go forward, we're going to be continuing to track that, looking at that ABC 17 storm track seven day forecast. That quiet weather, though, is going to be treating us here. We get on the other side of this rain this morning, all the way through Saturday. Then we're going to be watching that system on Sunday and then cooling down as we get into next week.